And uh, we begin with Matters Health. And employees of the now defunct NHIF face an uncertain future, this following the folding of the fund today. The employees numbering over 1,700 have been moved back to the Public Service Commission awaiting either absorption into Shah, redeployment to other government entities or early retirement. Brenda Wanga reports on the anxious and uncertain days as Shah says it is set to advertise for the jobs in not more than three weeks. A day after the now defunct NHIF ceased all operations and fully transferred all its former functions to Shah, those who worked under NHIF are a worried lot. And as NHIF staff we have a lot of anxiety. We have a lot of fear of the staff transition. Jen, who asked for anonymity, has worked at the NHIF for years. She, like over 1,000 others, say they do not know what the future holds for them. NHIF employees have spent the last one year of transition to Shah, hopeful that this deadline would find them either in the employ of Shah, redeployed to other government agencies, or processing their retirement dues. However, as the life of the NHIF ended, they were still unsure of where to go. So we are, we are lost because there is failure of the board to follow the act. And therefore we are requesting that this board be dissolved because they are, they are incompetent. They have not been able to ensure that before the transition expires, that all staff should have known where they're supposed to be. The acting CEO, Robert Ngasira, in a memo dated 19th November this year, informed the former NHIF staffers that the Public Service Commission will be communicating to staff individually regarding the transition from today. He further instructed all staff to avail themselves to their workplaces with their IDs and job cards to receive further communication from the PSC. Jen says this is yet to happen. The Public Service Commission, in an advisory to Shah dated 18th November this year, indicates that permanent and pensionable and contract staff engagement will end by operation of the law by close of business on 21st November. However, the staff will be temporarily deployed to Shah for a period of six months. The staff on permanent and contract terms shall have a chance to be absorbed into Shah, but those on contract will have their engagements terminated if they fail to get jobs in the new authority. Those on permanent basis and who will not have been absorbed will be redeployed within the public service or take the option to retire voluntarily. It is on the basis of this provision that a section of the employees are now demanding that the authority computes and pays them the exit packages as they have chosen to voluntarily retire from public service. The NHIF had 1,700 employees on permanent and pensionable basis. Earlier, the ministry had assured these employees that at least 400 of them would be absorbed into Shah. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.